Hi, my name is Medha Gupta and I was a 2017 Congressional App Challenge winner. I'm also currently a member of the Congressional App Challenge Alumni Advisory Board and I study computer science as a sophomore at New York University. Hi, my name is Devansh Kinsetta. I'm Gronk Thotkar. And we created Students Tutor Students and we competed for Oregon's District 3 group and um, our district's representative was Representative Earl Blumenauer. Awesome. Uh, so I'd love if you could describe what your app Students Tutor Students does and really quickly. Yeah, for sure. So essentially what Students Tutor Students aims to do is we try to provide a platform for students to match with fellow student tutors. And essentially our target audience for this app is students who are struggling academically many times uh, with the pandemic because as the pandemic became um, more of a thing, teachers quickly were disoriented with all the different things they had to do adjusting to a virtual environment and they couldn't students really had a difficult time keeping up academically and couldn't really collaborate with other students as much um, as they could in an in-person platform so we essentially tried to provide a place where students can match with uh, fellow student tutors and work together to improve their educational growth and also to just meet new friends and fellow enthusiastic learners and so why did you guys decide to create an app in order to combat this problem? Uh, we decided to make an app because before we made the app, we had a manual system of matching tutors and tutees, and that was still effective. It wasn't as efficient as we wanted it to be because sometimes it take a little bit of time to get a tutor matched to a tutee. And by that time, that tutee might not, you know, they might not have any more interest. So we felt that making an app would to quickly match people would retain like our the two Ps within our organization and continue to help us grow. Yeah, that makes complete sense. So why was building this application important for, to both you and the people that you made it for? It was important for us because we wanted to, like if you have an app, it's better, it's easier to like expand your influence and build an organization. So we felt that having an app instead of just having, you know, bulletin boards of what we did would be an effective way of getting our name out there and getting people into our organization. And just so, oh, sorry, just so I, I can add on to uh, what Rong said as well, we felt like creating an app is a really good way to improve the accessibility of what we're trying to do as well. Uh, just cause like us students, we really enjoy like using our phones and we really enjoy having apps to do all of these various different things. And we felt like that could be the best way to create um, as broad of a community as possible. That makes complete sense. So why did you end up uh, entering students, tutors, students into the Congressional App Challenge? We felt that it would be a better way to, again, like get our name out there instead of our local community here in Portland. So getting our, like presenting our app to the people in the Congressional App Challenge for student demos and then all the parents that could be listening, like maybe they could create their own, um, like they would join our organization or they would like you know, inspire them to make their own app for education because that's the end goal and all because through COVID, you know, it's been tough to get people to connect through Zoom and everything. So we felt that if we could, could like win the congressional app challenge like we did, then it'd be a good way for us to uh, expand our inputs. That makes sense. So uh, how did both of you get into technology and app development? Um, so initially before creating this, uh, I don't think I had all too much knowledge with app development, but it was a really fun process to learn. Uh, but in terms of like computer science, um, I've taken just a few classes in school and just done a few projects, uh, particularly with game design and things like that. Um, but as this pandemic started to become more of a thing, um, and I was also really interested with computer science, um, I sort of saw this issue and we felt like maybe we could integrate what we were learning to sort of address the problems that we see um, and sort of integrate our two passions together. So I think that's sort of how I got introduced into app development and became passionate about it. Yeah, same thing. I didn't really have much experience with app development before making this app. So, like, I I done classes, I done little projects with it, with algorithms and um, like game design, like I said before. But this was a good experience for me to really get an app development because I, I enjoyed the process of like thinking about something and then being able to actually create it on your phone. So, so how has winning the Congressional App Challenge inspired you and changed your outlook on technology and app development? So. It really motivated uh, us to keep doing our project. We wanted to keep on going and to establish a like establish a broader community 
of learners. And personally for me, it was like just like a validation that, oh, what we're doing is actually right. Cause we, we both self-learned um, app development. So it taught us that we can like really tackle on any problem that we, we want to face. That sounds amazing. So um, like, uh, how was it self-learning technology um, through the pandemic? What was your experience like? Um, we just kind of like, you know, we looked up YouTube videos, uh, browsed through forums of how to do certain things. And I feel like that that's a good way of going about it, actually getting hands-on experience. Because you learn in the classroom, like how to do things, we never learn how to actually like, apply it. So we felt that, you know, taking what we learned in our classes through all of high school and prior before that, and actually, you know, making something that can have an impact was a, a good way of going about it. And adding on to what Ron said as well, uh, I feel like when we were learning it together as a group and sort of collaborating on it, that was the best way for us to both increase um, sort of how we were learning and how we were understanding uh, the concept of app development. So I felt like I also learned the importance of like collaboration and sort of working together um, as a way to learn something and pick something. That sounds great. Um, so just wanted to ask, do you have any last words, any um, last points that you want to make before the end of the interview? Yeah, sure. I think um, we can bring up some of our future plans with the app as well. So awesome. currently it's sort of like just a peer to peer uh, matching app and that's sort of the purpose of it. But as we continue to go forward, we kind of want to make it a broader platform for students to just share like things they're passionate about. So for example, Garong and I have developed like a really deep interest in app development by making this app so we could possibly make a forum on uh, the students to your students app discussing you know things that we learned and people can sort of add on and contribute with their own knowledge and by doing all of this we hope to continue to foster this group of enthusiastic learners and continue to grow this broader community of supportive learners together.